What's going on YouTube? This is Inventory King. It's time to do a review on the Aqua Decor background. All right, so we're gonna start on the top left and kind of work our way down and across. So as you can see, there's a lot of little crevices, which is really awesome. Adds to the uh, depth of the background. There's a rock. This is cool. There's a little ledge right here where you can see the rubescens. Um, sometimes they'll head up there. Not as often as you'd think, but sometimes. And again, right down here, that's like a miniature little cave. Kind of cool. If the Borley High would move, but yeah, there it is. Then uh, this is the center piece of the background. Just really, really cool. Then it goes to the top section there, the center. Again, a little ledge right there. Another rock. Up over here is another ledge. Really, really cool. Um, when you're taking pictures, sometimes it's dark in this corner and it adds uh, some cool character to the uh, photo, being a dark spot. This is another little section that there's a few that love to take it. The Dragon Blood's been controlling this spot lately. That's the Abana Sunshine, not him. But what's really cool is right up in this little section here, this is a ledge. And when I go onto the side, you're gonna see it. But they'll kind of chill out over here. There's a few of them that do. Um, they kind of defend this little spot. Another rock. Just look at the detail on this right here. Absolutely a work of art. I mean, look at look at all the ledge there. Okay, let's go ahead and move to the side. There's that section I was telling you about. Look at that. Just absolutely spectacular. Okay, what I'm gonna do next is show you the chambers. Okay, so here's one of the chambers on the side. If you look here, it's gonna be blurry, but you could tell that this is the right side of the tank when you're looking at it. So when you ask them to build it, you can tell them exactly what you want. And I told them I want an FX5 on each side, so I need a chamber on each side. Those are my little do-it-yourself outputs. But yeah, you can fit your heater in here. You can fit some outtakes, some intakes. Um, the way I have mine set on the right side, I have the two FX5 outputs and I have one FX5 intake with a heater. That's on the right side. So this is the left side. A little harder to see on this side because I literally have a small section to get in here. But over here I have an FX5 intake, the Sun Sun intake, and the Sun Sun outtake. The reason I only have one outtake on this side is because of these two power heads. I figured that that would work out for me, and it has. So again, here's a side shot. I gotta clean my acrylic on the front there, but I mean, look how clear you can see straight across, no problem. And that is hidden filtra filtration in the chambers on the background. So yeah, the benefits of this obviously is the looks. It's just spectacular. The hidden filtration is great too because you're not having a bunch of intakes and outtakes pipes showing. Um, I did choose to have these 
uh, power jets or wave makers in here because I like extra water flow personally. Um, but this thing is just really a work of art. I am extremely happy with this 3D background from Aqua Decor. Shout out to Aqua Decor for making a work of art, for making an excellent product. Um, it's pleasant to look at, um, and I'm just very happy that I went and did it. Uh, eat to each his own. There's gonna be people who would rather a painted background. That's great, I love painted backgrounds. There's nothing, just sheer glass all around. There's that plastic paper, 3D backgrounds, and paint. To me, those are the four options we have. And I like painted backgrounds and 3D backgrounds, but this is about the 3D background. So again, I'm very happy that I purchased it. It's a work of art. It is something very enjoyable to look at. It just looks great with the African cichlids. So again, shout out to Aqua Decor for a great product. Please comment, like, share, subscribe, and stay tanked.